Okay, and I need a volunteer for this one, you sir. Okay, come forwards. God, he's chosen me. A wine glass. Yeah. Okay, and a balloon, and you're going to pick up the wine glass using the balloon and not your hands. Okay. I might give you a hint. If you come here, put the wine glass on the table. Yeah. Okay. Put the balloon inside the wine glass. Yeah. And blow. Okay. And blow the balloon. Up. You might need to. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Now this is the photo opportunity, folks. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Again. Dirt cheap, but you're showing the uh, what pressure can do. The force of the particles hitting the wall of the balloon, exerting a force on the glass. Uh, that's um, you know, causing friction between the balloon <coughs> and the glass, and you're able to pick it up. You can relate that to things that those pads that the fire brigade use. They use pads and things for pushing things, pushing things apart in accidents. It's a similar principle to blowing the balloon. Although what we haven't done, we haven't lifted anything. We've actually used it to, to push against the glass and to, to lift the glass up. So again, it's very, very, very cheap. Next one, one you may be familiar with, um, on the pressure thing, is the marshmallows in a bottle. Now uh, being a teacher, you may spot a little thing going on, a wine bottle, a wine keep. Let's take that off. Okay, put the wine keep in. These are these pressure things you can buy from the supermarket for keeping your wine, okay? So I should put that on top of my bottle, Pump away, and we watch what our what our flump things do. After a while, can you see what's happening? All I can smell is marshmallow vapor. It's very nice. But they are expanding. Okay, to fill the space. No expensive vacuum pumps or anything. And there we have it. Our marshmallows, because they're spongy, you've got, you've got air bubbles, gas bubbles inside. Okay, and we've, we've, we've now reached the equilibrium again. The, uh, the pressure on the inside of the marshmallows has re yeah, uh, reached the same as the, the outside. And then if we release the, the, uh, the air back into the bottle, which makes people smile. We do that for some reason. But it's very, very, okay, dirt cheap. Now, can I just give a bit of advice? Because I've gotten a hell of a mess with, with these in the past. Um, <coughs> when you put the, the marshmallows in, roll them between your hands. Cause you, some of the wine bottles aren't, the neck isn't actually wide enough to get the marshmallow in, and it ends up getting all stuck, and, and as soon as you start handling it a lot, it heats up and gets really sticky. So roll the marshmallow between your hands, and it will just stick in straight away, because it will soon stand once you, uh, once you start pumping away. Okay? <coughs> now, my kettle, I think we're almost ready with the, with the kettle. Um, whilst we do that, actually what I'll do is get somebody to blow a balloon up. Can we cope with that? Smiling at me. Have a nice pink balloon and blow it up. Okay? And then can you come forward, please? With the balloon. <coughs> right, whilst he does that, we'll get the kettle. I don't want them to be boiling. It's very cold. This is hot water, not boiling water. Recurring theme. Now, if I was in front of a class and doing this properly, I would uh, have a thermometer or a data logger so we can just prove that it isn't actually at 100 degrees. How are you getting on? <laughs> <laughs> Can't blow the balloon. Would you? We'll come back to the balloon in a minute. Okay. You keep, you keep, you keep trying in there. Here's my bottle with uh, hot water in it. Let's go back to the wine keep because I'm keeping in with the theme. Do this, uh, do this here. Now, pump. Yeah, if you do need to stand up at the back, please do. I'll bring this round because you've got to have a go with this. Oh my goodness, there we go. The water has started to boil. Right? Okay. You can just see that on the screen. The water is boiling. So I've reduced the pressure above the liquid and it's lowered the boiling point. Okay. If I let the air back in, increase the, t t the pressure. It stops boiling. So I now have a way of, of modifying the boiling point of liquid. And of course, at a higher level, you can link that to Again, we've had three or four demonstrations so far that do not require any huge sums of investment. 
I would assume that most of you have got access to some wine bottles and some wine cubes and things like that. So yeah. we have the, can you go straight to the right? How are we doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> Someone put two. Who's good at blowing balloons? Anyone? I'll take you. Hey. We use the brass players. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's doing it now. Yeah. Right, don't tie it, whatever you do. Come forward. Straight away. See that again? Straight away. <laughs> don't tie it. Okay. Um, I strongly advise you to, to get one. It's a, you know, a gas lighter, piezoelectric gas lighter, uh, wired to, um, to a couple of electrodes on the end, so that when we press it, it's great, isn't it? You know, class mucking about, you just approach them with that, and it makes you know, <laughs> sometimes flinch, you know? Uh, very, very good. Unless you've got some you know, uh, masochistic uh, sixth formers like I had, and they like to give themselves electric shocks, but that's, that's fine. Right, so, now before I've done anything, did you notice I've shorted the connections out? So I'm going to put this lid, there's my lid for the pot with a couple of holes in, I'm going to connect it to the film part, and what I don't want is it accidentally going off. Okay, that's really nice and more thank you. Tip the last few drops of ethanol out, so we've got ethanol and air vapour in there. Oh, sorry, ethanol vapour and air. Now, hopefully this should move when we ignite it, we should get a little bit of movement. If it doesn't work the first time, we'll do it again, because the container should warm up if we get a little bit of, a little bit of combustion. So hoping that the gases will expand, and the thing should pop off, should, 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 should move off. Are you all watching this? Now you can link that to things like the internal combustion engine. 
because that's your that's like your your piston, isn't it? We, we, we moved it up, we moved it away like that. You could link it to um, fireworks. So you have a, an explosion in a tube uh, to launch something up into the air. That's exactly what happens. Um, all sorts of uh, things you can link it to. So that's a mini combustion rocket. Now, me being me, being a scientist, I'm thinking, well, that's very nice. That's uh, we've used a bit of electricity to get, to get the initiate the burn. Can we scale up a little bit? Yes, we can. Uh, so we're going to now look at combustion, and uh, when we talk about combustion, it's very important to get the, the mixture of gases correct. I'm going to show you in a moment uh, some balloons. What are the balloons going to be done? Are ready? Okay. In fact, let's um, let's let's do the wrong thing because we're on the wrong thing. Okay. So what we've got in here, we've got stoichiometric uh, ratio of oxygen and methane. Okay, two to one oxygen to methane. Uh, we get to bubble it through. Now, if you make these things up, you really do need to practice. It took two of us to, to film this morning because we, we, we bubbled the, the gases in, oxygen went in first, then the methane, and then the challenge is to get a balloon over because you want to create a, a sort of membrane of rubber. And you can use cling film instead, uh, just where you're going to put your ignition source. I'm going to put a flame onto that bit of the bottle. Uh, we're going to ignite our gases, and as the gases burn, we should get some exhaust coming out of here. And it's the same principle as the the, the, yeah, the bottle rocket, we saw the gases come out, and our bottle should move across the room. And that's the theory. Okay? Now, this might go reasonably quickly, so um, I'm actually going to ask you to split, right? Because I'm going to fire this thing across that way. So if you are <laughs> this side of me, can you just gather over there? And, and towards this end of the and if you're over here, and you're going down over there. <laughs> and can I say, the golden rule with the demonstration, if something goes wrong, don't try and blag it. Don't try and cover it up. You need to be really honest with your audience because you're human. Sometimes things go wrong. You might not have got the mixes quite right. And be honest and explain <coughs> why you think, hypothesize why it hasn't worked properly. And that's really important because the kids will see right through you if you try and blag it. Okay? And, and just carry on. And, and, and let them see it's okay to, to fail. So, I've got my uh, rocket, I've got another one here that we prepared, two safety screens, and I've balanced it on a couple of latch downs. So, uh, this actually allows me to aim it. <laughs> so, I'm aim it, and I'm going to sit here and find it. So, I've got a good line of uh, sight there. Notice what I've done with my audience. Now, if I was doing this in a classroom, I would have everybody sort of at the wall over there, which would be at the front of the classroom, and have everyone on the far side of the room. I would also advise people of a nervous disposition um, to um, cover their ears. Uh, there is a, a small risk of perforated eardrums. So if you're that sensitive to hearing, uh, then please do cover your ears to this, because this can be, can be quite loud. And the other thing is make sure, if you're doing it near a classroom door, that no one's going to come in. Particularly <laughs> <laughs> they're carrying something, you know. Unless it's a colleague you don't like. No, 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 no. Right. Uh, I spent it on the end of a heat of stick.
do have a bit of condensation there, but I did have a little bit of residual water in there as well. Okay, so you can talk about combustion, you can talk about um, rates of combustion, ratios, and things like that. You can link it to sound, you can link it to acceleration, forces. There's a whole range of things that you can build from this. But make sure that you're actually clear why are you actually firing this rocket? What is your, what is your focus? Are we looking at sound um, or, or, or whatever? And you would have seen the, the, the whitish blue flash as well when it, when, it, when it took off. Now, it's very important that you use carbonated drinks bottles. Okay, I, have, I did use a still uh, mineral water bottle once and it shattered, it went off like a shrapnel bomb. It was a very scary moment, but thankfully we had the screens and um, everybody was safe, but it, was, it, it doesn't even bear thinking about it, okay? I do have a risk assessment for that. It's gone up on the portal, please do one yourselves. And if you're doing it indoors, do not go above half a litre, okay? If you're doing it indoors, right? You can go a bit bigger outdoors. Right, that's all I'm going to say. Do you want to, I've got another one, do you want to see another one? Yes. <laughs> um, the reason I've got another one is sometimes it is a little bit it is a little bit haphazard filling them sometimes to get the, the mixture absolutely right. You will need to practice, you need to practice, train your technicians. Of course when you practice you have a lot of fun as well. But you do need to uh, practice making these things up. Okay, uh, guys, can I just ask you just um, again please?